What is going on, everybody? I am Chalk, and welcome to Pal World. Well, server side guide for Nitrado for Pal World. And boy, is it frustrating. So, as of right now, as you guys know, Pal World's been taking the, the world by storm. And if you guys are playing on Steam, you guys can have your own server. And if you don't want to host your own server, there's plenty of places out there that host them. But Nitrado is one of them, and I run, you know, Nitrado server for Arc, and I'm kind of the I'm kind of a server guy for that. So we decided to get a server for Nitrado. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe. If you guys just wanna, if you guys say, you know what, I'm fed up with this, I just wanna join a server, join the Discord, hit me up. Love to have you guys on uh, as we're as we're enjoying this brand new game. For those of you who are here because you're having problems with your server, let's see, I will try to help. Now, whether you are familiar with Nitrado or not, the the server UI for Pal World is pretty terrible. So this is what you're gonna what you're gonna get. We're gonna click the web interface to log in. for Pal World, for the general, for everything. We can change XP and stuff like that, but for the moment, we do not want to add any type of password to the server. We don't want to add an admin password. We don't want to add in a login password because there is an issue that they're having. As it says right here on the dashboard, please be aware that Pal, Wor Pal World servers list may not be accurately displayed on all servers. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time, if not an impossible time, searching for it. So I'm going to have my IP blurred out. But right here, where it says Pal World, you'll have an IP address right here by this, this question mark. You can click and you can copy. And we're going to use that to directly connect to our server. While we are in the Nitrado dashboard, however, we will do a little bit of navigating around. We can see here. It doesn't even show that there's players connected to my server, but we're connected. We've been playing the three of us for about the last hour. And we will go to under general. The only thing we have is the server name. Again, you can change the server name, but I wouldn't recommend it for the moment. Then on the left side here, we have config files. The King Fig Files is where it's going to be all the bread and butter. And they have done in this one a terrible job displaying all of this. So here we have the difficulty level. If we want to increase the difficulty from standard, regular to hard mode, none is default. The day and nighttime cycle, one is default. XP rate, pal capture rate, the higher the better. So higher than one, the more you're going to have. The more XP, the better the capture rate so on and so forth pal rate spawn number i would leave it at one for default same thing with damage all these multipliers i would leave as default but as you see here we have to scroll to the right so if we hit Control f and we type in password we'll see here that we have a server password and an admin password with two uh quotations we want them to be we want them to be uh, blank we want them to be blank and then we'll have our our public IP that we're gonna connect to when saving and restarting the server okay we're gonna we're gonna hit the stop button we're gonna change it it's not like other Nitrado servers where we can change it so we'll hit stop change what we need to save restart right save is down here restart is up here it's going to be in a loop for 10 minutes it will then force you to restart and it's going to be back into a loop after you restarted so i make sure i'm not dying here It's going to apply an update that the update doesn't seem to work. 
and then we'll be good to go. If there's a password in here and it tries to apply the update, whatever we've saved in here, it's whatever changes we've done, it's going to refer back to prior to the restart. So you're going to be in an instant loop. You're going to be in an instant restart loop that you can't fix. The only way to fix it is over on the left under tools. You're going to do actually it's not even under tools. Literally on the left side under the tools category where it says reinstall, you'll have to reinstall your server. And then it's still going to take it's going to reinstall. That's going to take 5 to 7 minutes. Then you're going to uh, restart the server. That's going to take another seven to 10 minutes. And then it's going to do its update. That's going to take another three to five minutes. I literally was doing this for about 40 minutes just to get the server up and running to connect to. Once you're connected, it's actually a pretty smooth experience. We had three people running around. We're all doing our own thing, catching, building, having fun, laughing, having a good time. So yeah, that that is it in a nutshell for now for all the the basic stuff of renting a server from Nitrado, getting connected, and actually getting into your server. I will show you guys in-game how to connect. So we will definitely cover that. Okay. You can see here, PAL server hosted by Nitrado. Two of eight people connected. We can see... All that, right? All right. Return to title. So when you are... And of course, this is in Steam. We have start game, join multiplayer game. We're going to go ahead and click that. Down here, we're, we have an IP address. That's how we're going to directly connect to our server. So again, in the Nitrado, up here it's going to be blurred. Just right where it says IP, just click the copy button. If you guys are server admin, throw it in your Discord for now until they get their problem fixed. And then just paste it here. And you should be able to connect. No problem. I'm just going to go ahead and connect. With Once you've connected, it should be under your recent servers. Should be. And that is it, guys. That is how you guys connect to your Nitrado server. If you guys have questions on server settings and whatnot, please put it down in the description below. Again, remember to like, subscribe. We we definitely do tutorials on servers. We're also going to start working on some playthroughs of games. Hope you guys uh, come along for the ride as we are doing playthroughs not only on this but Ark. And check us out for a uh, scorched shirt that's coming out. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to work and let my Vixies get back to work. So. I've been Chalk, guys. We'll catch you guys next time.